Oh, hold on! Oh, are you kidding me? What else? What freaking else? It's time for Jurassic World Alive! Oh, happy day! Oh no, I'm doing it on this. Okay, so hello everyone and welcome to Jurassic World Alive! Where I have just been lucky enough to find a, uh, lucky enough and unlucky enough to find a Sinoceratus, but to have to dart it on my iPad. And this thing's bloody massive, so it's completely different to what I'm used to. But you know what? Any DNA is good DNA, I say. And 139 isn't too bad. Thank God I'm level 20, because if I was a lower level, um, well, I obviously wouldn't be playing this too much, and uh, I, uh, I would have got a lot less. So, we have the lunar event has just finished, and I hope you guys... Um, managed to dot everything you needed to. At the very end, there was a very good event um, where you could choose up to three different dinosaurs to dot. And you could dot, I mean, you could dot three of each or you could dot nine of all one. And if you were smart, that's what you did. If that's one you needed. Uh, and I did that for Ehrlichosaurus. Hello, everybody, and welcome. James forgot to bring his actual camera. So we're using a phone. Actually, it looks kind of cool with the sunlight there. But here we have a, a really noisy bugger, the Draco Ceratops, who is, oh God, wow, you saw a reflection of exactly where I am. <laughs> right here, one of one. Uh, let's try and catch this thing. I don't really care about it. Nobody cares about it. I still, I'm killed by it on occasion, but for the most part, I don't think many people use it because it's been nerfed, 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 nerfed. It's been useless at the moment. So, um, I'm right outside it. I've never dealt this thing before. Because finally, when we wanted it, oh, of course, there's a bloody tail shot. Oh, God! Oh, that's all right. It makes like a screechy baby sound. Of course, they put a dart on its foot as well. Oh, oh, yeah, you've got to be very on point with these. I think I've only got two direct hits so far. And um, last one on the head. Could have been. Hey, 169. Actually, not the first time I've got that score before, <laughs> I think. Uh, so that brings us to 1713. If you want to use it, it's good now, because I think if you requested a Draco Ceratops, or Draco Rex, sorry, uh, people would give it to you. So I'm going to put that down here. But we also have, I have one and a half hours to get eight more Ehrlichosauruses. And this is the one, I think, I hope this video is going out today. Maybe not. Maybe we're saving near the weekend. That's what we're doing these days. Anyway, we're going to go get Ehrlichosaurus. And I'm actually going to concentrate for this one. Because Ehrlichosaurus is quite hard to come by. Oh, come on, you can do it. Oh, that wasn't good enough, James. Oh, oh there you go, direct hit. We got this. We're not going to commentate. We're just going to focus on getting more direct hits. Here we go. We got two more. There you go. There you go. 284. What? That's already one pop for Erla Demimus, I think. Oh, Erlichosaurus, sorry. Nope, this is Erlichosaurus. You know what I mean. <laughs> so that is two out of eight. Um, I've got another one up there. I also still got to do that uh, event that's over there. Ooh, and the lunar event is coming to an end. So. I've got an hour and a half to try and track down, uh, of course, 8,888. Eight, 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 That'd be... I think, if that is in Japanese. There you go. So that is my one of Draco Ceratops done in this little car excursion. We're like a new show. So hello, welcome to the car. Back to the studio. Which is what we're precisely going to do now. Bye. Woo! And we're back, just like that. So you, we had like a Dracoceratops. Um, we also had, and if you, if I click on this, I should have everything. Oh, it's, oh, no way. Oh, that's, does it always clock? No, oh, that's so cool. I maxed up everything. As you'll see, I have now an extra 41,000 coins because I got all of the um, all of the boxes, all of the uh, the lunar uh, treasure chests. I got all of the regular ones and I got all of the event supply drops. So I should have, in theory, oh no, yeah, so now I've got two Lunar Scents. Winter said I have three of two, which is interesting. I must have got that from a, um, an event, because normally, if you just get it normally, it just goes, yeah, we're going to chuck that away. I really wish there was, okay, let's talk about the game, shall we, for a second. Two things I would really love for this game to have is, if you're going to get 
if you've got two cents already, right, and you can only have two, and you're, you're going, doing your supply drops, how about when you get an extra cent that it's just going to chuck away because you can't have any more, it says, oh, do you want to chuck, like, do you want to keep this or, like, do you want to use a cent now or, like, lose this? And you could be like, oh, use a cent. At least then you're using it right. You might get one dinosaur out of it, but at least you've used it. Or they give you an option to collect now or later. And you go later. So I, I think that's just a way better because cents are... I think if you play this game a lot, you use the common cents, like the little cents, the five minute ones, every day. Two of them every day. That's what I think a normal player does. And I, if I've got two cents, I usually use that as well. Um, another thing I really wish that um, this uh, this game would have, and they've done, they've, it's not too bad actually, because if you go into your alliance, now we have how active people have been 18 days ago. Oh, I'm sorry, you kicked your, your root. I'm sorry, 82 weeks. Well, they should have a way for you to see just how how like active people are so how much they've donated how much they've contributed to uh like the incubators and stuff like that because you can see how much you've contributed and we were so close we're so close to getting that so close to getting that one it's a shame it is what it is but the thing also is that you don't really lose out too much when you think about it incubators are never a way for you to get DNA. They could be a way for you to get red, like, you know, uncommon DNA, like the Dimetrodon here. But 800 DNA, you could probably get that by finding three Dimetrodons. And if you are a serious player, you're going to know where Dimetrodons are in your local area or where to get, where to find them. And you could do it that way. This is, this is like the lazy man's way. <laughs> it's like, ah, it just gets added. It shouldn't be the way that you collect DNA. Uh, out of this one, there really isn't any that I want there. Uh, also, I found the Titanoboa, and maybe that's what I call this video. But it was Gen 2, so don't get too mad. Look, I got it, I got it, I got it. I, I mean, I was being driven, and I just, all of a sudden, I just saw this big lump uh, uh, as soon as I opened up the game. And lo and behold, I, I was like, screenshot, dart it, record, <laughs> straight away. Because um, for one, I wanted to know what it's like to dart a Titanoboa type. However, it's I think it's been shown now that Titanoboa is only going to be in like events. Uh, like a bit like Irritator was, unless there's a special event going on, like, you know, through incubators and stuff like that. That's probably how you're going to get Titanoboa. But it was bloody hard because... It has the same kind of animation that everything else has, where it will walk, and as soon as you dart it, it'll start turning. But it'll pick up pace, and because Titanoboa is already doing this weird slither animation, and it's like that big, it barely fits on the bloody screen, that when it does that, you're like, whoa, Jesus! So they need to, they need to work out some kind of better way of doing it, because... Not only is the snake sort of doing this motion, but then as soon as you dart it or like you hit that limit where it needs to change direction, it's just like, uh, it just does this weird, like there's, there's nothing you can do. So if anybody manages to max out a Titanobo Gen 2, I, I don't think it's possible. If you do, Jesus, you're really good at darting. <laughs> In that video, I said I was going to dart all Elikosaurus and I managed to do so. I got like 180, 160, and I got, did get a couple 250, 60 issues. So, we now can do 10, 10 pops, if we wanted to, of Ehrlichosaurus. Actually, I didn't realize we need Indominus Rex. So we're going multi-fusion. Mul oh, wait, hold on. Oh, we can do 20. Okay, so minimum we're going to get from this is 200, which is very good. That puts us to about five pops on the other one. But let's see what we can get from this. A 70, 50, 50, 40. Whoa! 500. We could have got 200 there. We got 500. That was really good. Now, I hope I haven't just like ruined that for myself now. Uh, I hope I would have loved the 70s and stuff on here. So we can't do a 20 because we don't have 4,000 DNA and we don't have a thousand of that, but we can do two fives. So minimum we're going to get from this is 50. In total, it's going to be 100, which would put us 80 off a level 29 Erlodominus. So, fingers crossed. Really crossed. Come on, come on. 50, 50. Whoa, that's 100 already. 150. Oh my God. So we could have got 50 there. We got three times that. We got 150. And we're going to do it one more time. 
Okay, so 150. That was really good, especially when... I don't know about you guys, but whenever I do unique creatures, it's kind of always tens, unless it's Magnetator. For whatever reason, I've got great luck with Magnetator, so we've got it. We've got level 29, but we might not have um, much else. We might just get a 50. We got 150. That's really good. Like, there was loads. Okay, come on. We're gonna get 40, 40, 20, 10. Okay. 110. That's, that's probably more about the numbers I was expecting. But there we have a level 29. Earl of Dominus. 20,000 it costs. Let's go. Bring its health up to 4,000 and its attack finally over to 2,000. Ooh, so when it does Rampage, it could do 4,000 damage now. Uh, and, you know, for the sake of it, we may as well do one more. We're not going to use Indominus Rex DNA for anything else. And a 30! Not bad. Gives us just a little bit extra heading towards a maxed out Urla Dominus. Um, I also have this. I have one pop on this. I'm actually, I think I did ask for Dimetrodon, but um, I actually, in my alliance, have been very generous. They've been giving me a lot of Irritate DNA and um, Dimetrodon DNA. So, oh, no, I asked for that, yeah. <laughs> I always feel bad. I'm like, okay, here's some free coin. Give me that. Because <laughs> you can just generate that yourself. Oh, it just looks so boring now, doesn't it? <laughs> but we got one extra pop for the uh, Magnetator. Might as well go for it. What we're gonna get, and there it is. Okay, that's. You know what? I'll take it. I've had some really good luck. That's fine. But Magnetate is really freaking good. Um, I've also got some health to pop into something, and I don't know what. And this is where we're gonna get into the second kind of part of the video, which is talking about a dinosaur that I I see in every game, almost every game or player I face off against has this dinosaur. No, it is not this thing, the Quetzalrion, that when it was first released, everyone had it. And it was like, yeah, this is amazing. Level 21, boost it. It's going to be awesome. And then it just wasn't. And now I very rarely see Quetzalrion. Um, no dinosaur that I am talking about, because when it's boosted, it's friggin' insane, is this guy. The Indoraptor Gen 2. The White Indoraptor. I mean, we're gonna call the video that, right? That's gonna get the clicks. White Indoraptor! Indoraptor simply! I thought it was dead! It's here. So we can multi-fuse it again, I think. Oh no, I've run out of blue DNA, never mind. But we do have 2,900. I see this all the time, and when I face it, it's a pain in the ass. Because if it's quick, it's really, really deadly. Because it gets to go first, and even if it doesn't go first, it might take a hit. But as soon as it does the friggin' cautious strike, it gets a speed boost. If it's in a situation where it's faster and it knows it's gonna survive, you could even go for Mutual Fury. Cleanse, increase damage 50% for one opponent turn and two turns for yourself. And you also increase speed 10% two turns. Now, I don't know if that is for you or both. Hmm, because it doesn't specifically say increase opponent speed by 10%. I think it's probably yours. Your trade-off is that you get to give them extra attack, but you also get it and a little bit of speed, so you probably go first. But I've genuinely been considering this guy. Everyone uses it, and it's such a royal pain in the ass to take on when it just keeps on cleansing, 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 cleansing. What's that? Your, your, your attack's halved, and I've got a chance to dodge? Even if you get through my dodge, you've got half attack, so uh, it's so friggin' annoying. So I am gonna level this guy up um, because I do see it played a lot. And I have enough coin, I have enough DNA, and I'm gonna switch this out for um, Griper Sutures. Now, Griper Sutures is still really good, but off, more often than not, I only get to do two hits with it. I get to switch it in, and it gets a hit off, and then I do regeneration, it just survives the next hit, gets a hit off, and that's it. Whereas this guy, I have the feeling that I might be able to do more than about half damage. Um, or even, I don't know, the fact that it's immune to uh, stuns and it's immune to um, its attack being lowered is really good. Because, oh, I just realized, what's going on? Oh, we got that window open. You messing with the green screen? Yeah, I bet you bloody well are. I moved out of my parents' place so I wouldn't have to deal with this. Editing James will be so disappointed with me. Disappointed! disappointed. So we're level 20. We still have a couple of pops to go. We can probably get level 23, I'm thinking. And I don't really... I mean, I haven't been uh, targeting this, like trying to get DNA for it. Uh, it's mainly just the blue DNA, which is going to be hard to come by. Uh, so we've got at least two more pops. So we could get to 24, I think. Oh god, no, it's 500 now. Uh, we might be able to. Maybe, just maybe. It depends what it asks for now. Oh, I don't. Oh, that. Maybe just. Oh, 
Oh, we got exactly. Okay, we got 25 is pretty decent. Okay, we got 25. So it's got a decent amount of health. It's attacks pretty. It's attacks all right. It has a 20% crit chance, which is really good. And there you have it. And we can do one more fuse. Um, I just wish. The only problem with these guys is it's not as bad as Epic, but they just they just eat coin. As you can see, we started this video with a million coin. Now we have just under 40,000 or 400,000? 400,000. Wow, okay. So, just to get some coin back, I'm going to open up some incubators. Maybe we'll get something decent. Uh, also, guys, oh, ooh, we got an extra pop for the irritator. That's good. Oh, wait. Ooh. Oh, much needed. So sorely needed. Um, and we're going to have a look at some of the new animations for some of the creatures. Because, I mean, Ludia put so much effort into animations. And they've known that ever since Jurassic Park built it. There's a reason why you'd unlock a new creature to see its new attacks and how it moves. Uh, because there was so little going on in that game. Let's, not, let's be fair. <laughs> um, and I haven't spent any bucks on the boosts. Uh, oh, also, description. Description, go down below. Get free... 50 bucks, I think it is. Hopefully, I, I'll, I'll deliberately put this video up because I get a promo code every week. So if I make one Jurassic World a live video every week, then you guys and myself can get 50 bucks for free. Um, and 50 bucks is at least one instant speed up for the three hour, which gives you two uh, boosts. So that's pretty decent. So now that we've put you all the way to the top, I think, 25, there it is. Look at that by Jove. So we'll switch out Gripo for you. And I have actually put some boosts into Gripo because I think it's decent. And it's just a matter of getting that DNA. Let's say we had an event like it was the Ehrlichosaurus and I just darted Griposaurus nine times. Then it would be up here. It would be like level 26 or something and I would put more into health. So we also have health boosts as well to add to these guys. Um, I think the last time I made a video, I put the health uh, boosts into our Dendus Maxima. And if I was to do it again, it would go for 7,267. It's only level 26. Only level 26. Um, but other dinosaurs that really need health is stuff like Thordor. Because, I mean, Thordor takes a hit, but it does dish it out. So it's mainly attack it would want and health, not speed. Uh, Trichosaurus as well, because it has the armor, so it can help really sponge up some stuff. Um, and it's tier 6 already and let's have a look um do we have any any pops of this we have one more pop maybe we'll get a 30 we might get lucky or no we'll get a 10 never mind then also people have commented saying that the uh, graphics have went lower in this game and i think ludia have decided okay we can either just keep the graphics up and add extra things which is going to take longer to load up or we can put the graphics down and it can play on other devices and it's quicker to load and i would rather that if i'm going to be honest so as far as health goes, I'm tempted just to get Trico over to 6,000 health. I, I think that's more intuitive. Ooh, it's got 6,000 health. And it has 30% armor. Once I get a little pop on the Pyrotator. Uh, oh, perfect. That's two pops if we wanted to go for the Dimetrodon, I think. Because it should be 50. Unless it's 100. It's 50, so it's two pops. So it's just need Dimetrodon. This guy's so good. I love it. Okay, but I've never used the this Indoraptor before. So this is going to be interesting. I get the feeling I'm going to have a big wake up call. I'm going to think to myself, oh, this is easy. And then I'm, <laughs> I'm going to get absolutely rinsed by something. The fact that it has no mods as well is a bit annoying. Um, and what, what's really annoying, actually, is not the fact that it doesn't have mods. It's the fact that everyone else does. Because now mods are always in the marketplace. I'm noticing dinosaurs that are lower level than mine, but have more attack or more health. Just because people are either spending a lot of money on the game or they're finding like ways around it. Like, it's basically they're just, they're just putting lots of money into the game. It's pay to win. That's what this is. It's pay to win, but if you don't want to pay, it's going to take some time. Um, and all app games kind of have that. Not all, but a lot of the majorities. Um, huh. Let's go for our Dennis Maxima. What's the worst case? They never start with Thordor. Thordor never comes in straight away. And that's what his worry would be, a Thordor. And I never see that. Ah, perfect. Actually, an Indoraptor. Oh, it's level 26. Does it have boosts? Boosted speed, boosted attack, boosted health. Um, so we're gonna... Oh, he goes for a cautious strike. Okay. So he gets his dodge ability. That's fine. Right, now we're going to slow him down so we get to go first. He's still going to have that, though. 
He could go for an evade if he wanted to. There you go. We've got 50% chance, I think, to go through that. Um, or 66% chance to... Uh, Wait, two to 75 percent chance to dodge 66 percent of damage. Oh, they make it complicated. Okay, but we're gonna do this because he he could cleanse himself actually. Oh, hold on! Whoa! Are you kidding me? What health? What freaking health? Oh, okay. He gets a mutual furry. Increases my attack, but now he's gonna do 3,200. Oh, he's going to do a lot. He's going to do a big hit on me. A really big hit on me. And there's nothing... You know what? In this case, um, he gets to keep that Mutual Fury, right? Sodom! Sodom! We're going we're gonna to play him. We're, we're going to play him. He thinks he's really good. Oh, nullified. Suck it. <laughs> he's going to go for a big hit here, but he can't kill me. So... Ha! Now, normally I wouldn't fodder off this guy, but the, po the positive thing... Brilliant! <laughs> oh, fuck, oh, fuck you! Hey! Thanks! That's nice! We're doing good. We're doing good. I knew- I mean, I get the feeling he's really putting a lot of investment in that. He was- Oh, he's got his own Ardentus Maxima! Ooh! Interesting. Okay, so, I could either go for a big hit here, uh, or... I'm just gonna have to go for a big hit. I'm just gonna have to go for it. I might get a crit. But I'd rather, you know what? More than half health. I'll take that trade off. I'll take that trade off. Wow, how much? How much attack does it have? He's level twenty six. Is he boosted? The, he's boosted the attack. It's, its health isn't as high as mine, even though it's two levels higher. Um, now, 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 now. Ula Dominus can do four thousand damage, right? And he's got. Okay, I'm just gonna go for this. I'm just gonna go for this. Because he has instant invincibility, um, and he might go for it now. He shouldn't. He should just try and absorb this hit. Yeah, he tries to absorb this hit, and he's just going to go for a big hit here. Oh, I see what he's doing. I see what he's... He's thinking I'm going to go for instant charge now. He's thinking I'm going to go for instant charge just to, like, kill him. In fact, would it kill him? It would kill him. I, because he's actually quite clever, I think he's going to go for instant invincibility here. Because he thinks I can kill him. No! Yep. Knew it. Knew it! Easy. Easy. Well played. Well played. Um, Perfect. Yeah, he's well played again. Oh, this guy's so nice. <laughs> yes, my Ardentus Maxima. Which isn't really my MVP. That was close. Ooh, same speed. So we haven't we haven't boosted our speed either. This guy's a good... He's a good player. He's a good player. Okay, so now it really depends what he's got. He could have a Thordor. Oh, wow. We had like the same team. Okie dokie. So what's he going to do? What's he going to do? I could bypass it. You know what? Should we just go for a big hit? Just go for a big hit. Yeah, just go for a big hit. Because he can't kill me. I think we basically won this one. I think he realizes it. Um, I don't know this Maxima. I feel like it has a 70% 70, 70 chance to get a crit. The, the amount of times it gets it. So what's he going to do here? Do his big hit? I think he's just going to do his big hit. Yeah. Not going to kill me. I've got armor on. And I don't lose my attack. And he's dead. I'll say well played. Well played and good luck. There you go. He's going to be really annoyed at that. Because <laughs> at any point, if I didn't do it, like the plays that I did... I could have lost that. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see uh, the white Indo Indo Indoraptor. So we'll do one more. Maybe we'll get to see it this time. Oh, hold on. There we go. We've got an attack boost to add on to our dinosaurs. But what do I want? Okay, so four for that. Four for that and four for that. Uh, Miragaya, not bad. Even, well, that's really good. And uh, Langua, I've got plenty of. So now we can add an attack boost to something. Um, we could go even further beyond with this guy. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna get nerfed. I feel like it's gonna get nerfed, so I don't want to. It's already on tier 5. In fact, he's got the best evasion because he evades nerfs. I, I stole that. I can't take credit for that one. But Magnetator, um, it really needs those buffs. It really does. Um, but something I feel like... I use Thordor all the time. But Thordor is... He's teetering. It's teetering. What's the attack on? Tier 4. Ah. Ah. Because whenever I use Thordor, it usually has its attack halved. Or something along those lines. Uh, Ur Dominus. Ur Dominus, actually. You, can, you know what? Ur Dominus. 
There you go. Because you usually use Rampage, so already that's double. So whatever I put in is doubled. So I'll take that. And let's jump back into the Gyrosphere Factory. Pyrotator and Monolith for Sora can reduce a creature's attack to zero. That's great to hear, but usually either things are immune or like just can't be have their attack load like Indoraptor. So oh, oh. wait, wait, wait a second. Have I been looking at the friendly tab this whole time? Why is Griper suit? Oh, we've lost this one. <laughs> that could have been Indoraptor. No. Okay, we'll go on this one. So let's start with the seven thousand and steal fear into their hearts. Looking at that. Oh, that's not a good time matchup for him. <laughs> that's really not a good time matchup. Because I've got that armor. Yeah, that's not... I would have... Actually, yeah. He, he's just gonna He's just gonna go for the big hit. That's what he's gonna try and do here. Um, then, he might switch out, actually. He may switch out. Depends what, what, he's, what else he's got. Either way, I'm just gonna go for a big hit here. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm not expecting... Yeah, strike and run. Oh! It's not something with a counter. What is it? Oh! Oh, bless it! Whoa! I, I never see that. Yep, stun. He, we knew he was foddering it off. He's obviously quite prepared to uh, sacrifice something for his early dominance. Oh, and a crit! Oh, it's one shot! I think, actually, it didn't have much health anyway. How much health did it have? Oh, no, it was just killed. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I think he's gonna go for a cheeky, and I mean a cheeky, uh, speed up. I think that's what he's gonna go for. I think he's gonna go for a cheeky speed up. So, let's switch in Gripo. Surprise! I don't think he's gonna go for a Rampage here. Yep. Right, he could he might have been able to kill him or get very close to killing me there. So, we go for the uh, rendering, and this is what you use with Gripo. 1050, so if he hits me again, I've killed him. Now, he's probably gonna go for Rampage. He has a 20% chance of getting a crit. Even if I heal, he's killed me. So, I'm gonna risk the biscuit, and I'm gonna regenerate here. Because he can't kill me with a Rampage, because Gripo has some armor to it. It has 20% armor. He goes, okay, if he gets crit, I'm dead. Please don't get a crit. Oh, he's dead, yes! Oh, we're playing him! We're playing these guys. Oh, there we go. So it's 2-0 at the moment. We're doing good, we're doing good. And that's how you use Gripo. Normally, your Gripo should have a lot more health. But uh, I mine's on level 24, and I use all my health on other things. So, 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 so. Gripo is basically dead. Now, I can keep him in there and just fodder him off for something. Now, what is the Indoraptor has? 3,600. Can't kill me, really, with anything. So, I'm, I'm happy just to let that timer go. Yeah, you can take that. You can take one hit for something to come in and do a lot of damage to him. Magnetator could kill Indoraptor here. However... There's, he might get a crit because he's also got 20%. So I know that Trico has the health and can tank a hit. Even if he goes for his max hit. Oh, he goes for evasive. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Well, that's fine. I just want... Oh, well, we got lucky, but he also got lucky getting the evade. Right, here it comes. Here it comes. Even if he gets a crit, which he doesn't, he can't kill me. So playing it safe here, I get that off. Oh, he gets a dodge. He's got two dodges in a row. Can he get this one? Yeah, he did. He would have died otherwise. <laughs> okay, not bad, not bad. So, um, he's probably going to go for either a cleansing or a normal hit. Actually, he's going to go for cleansing. Um, so, I'm just going to go for instant invincibility. Oh, he goes for a swap. Oh, interesting. He has a, he's got two Indoraptors in his team. Ooh, this is interesting. Right, okay. So, what's he planning here? He has to go for... He's probably going to go for either evasive stance, very risky, or he's going to go for the cautious strike. I think he might go for cautious strike here. Uh, oh, no, he goes for evasive. Interesting. Okay, so his attack's not too high. The comrades have lost. Oh, he risked the biscuit and he lost it. Well, good on him. He tried. He tried. He lost it. He if I was him, I would have went for cautious strike. There's way more chance of you surviving and then just going for your big hit. But hey, there you go. You can't win them all. And even though we didn't get to use it because I think I added it to my friendly team, did I? What? That's for PvP. Why was I using friend? Right, PvP. That's person v person. Why was I using my friendly? 
Is that a glitch? I, d I don't understand that. Okay. Well, anyway, join us next time where we will do the campaign because you guys have told me that if we go in here, they've added new levels. And this is really good. I, I want to thank Ludia for doing this right. Normally, that would be it. If it was in a normal game, maybe they'd add more on after. But they didn't. And what they did is they went down the ranks to where you'd, you know, you'd probably use Titanoboa more. And they added a whole new wave here. And these are, oh, actually, they've added, yeah, added it behind. Um, so you get 600 for the Titanoboa Gen 2. You get 300 for the Titanoboa. And you get 300. And they've added some extra ones as well. And I think that's pretty decent of them to do. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs>